The Crimean Tatar leader Mustafa Jamilev has said that Russia is trying to divide his people and has slammed Moscow for cracking down on the Muslim minority in the Black Sea Peninsula. Jamilev has also voiced his concern over the May 18th anniversary of the forcible deportation of Tatars from Crimea 70 years ago by the Soviet Union, which resulted in the death of hundreds of thousands of Tatars. He said that his people might be arrested on this day for bearing the Tatar flag and holding marches. The general prosecutor for the Crimean region, Natalia Poklonskaya, has warned the Muslim community that the Tatar self-governing parliament, the Medjilis, will be liquidated if it supports extremist activities. The announcement followed with the Crimean prosecutor cites as illegal mass activities, which had been a tense standoff between hundreds of Muslim minorities and riot police. The Tatar community has been angered over Mustafa Jamilayev's ban from entering Crimea on the 4th of May for at least five years. Since the mass demonstrations in Kyiv that resulted in the overthrow of President Viktor Yanukovych and Russia's annexation of Crimea, the closely-knit Tatar community has been vocally opposed to Russia's interference in Ukraine.